टूडेज पार्ट देखो तो नाउ ये आई लेफ्ट यू विद द सोल्यूबिलिटी द सोल्यूबिलिटी ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड वेर आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द प्राइमरी अमीन अबाउट द सेकेंडरी अमीन एंड अबाउट द टर्शियत अमीन दीज थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ अमीन नाउ हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिसिटी ऑफ दिस थ्री अमीन मीन्स प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी और टर्शियरी इन तीनों में सबसे ज़्यादा बेसिक कौन होगा तो लेट्स बिगेन इट देखो Now, NH two, R two, NH, and then R three N. Now, in all these compounds, we have the electron pairs present on this nitrogen atom. Now, I say that a good basic compound will be that compound which can give it. लोन पेयर विच इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द इलेक्ट ऑन द नाइट्रोजन एटम इजिली मतलब जो कंपाउंड जितनी इजिली ये वाला इलेक्ट्रॉन दे पाएगा वो कंपाउंड उतना अच्छा बेस कहलाएगा दैट विल बी दैट गुड बेस अगेन समबडी इज रिक्वेस्टिंग टू ज्वाइन आई कॉन्ट हियर यू इज माई गेमिंग Now first we are talking about the alkyl chain, then we are going to talk about the aryl chain. Aryl means benzene, which we will talk about later. So first, we will talk about the alkyl chain. Ke mein baat Now you see when they are alkyl chain means long chain compounds like this. CH3, CH2, CH2, NH2. This way, a long chain compound is there, and this is the primary amine. Another one, let me take CH3, CH2, CH2, N. एक यहाँ पर और सी एच लगा दिया मैंने और यहाँ पे लगाया एच सिमिलरली द अदर वन मान लो यही सी एच थ्री जो है तीन बार है फाइव एंड देन इट इज बॉन्डेड टू एन एक काम करता हूँ इसको खोल के देखता सी एच थ्री एन सी एच थ्री एंड हियर इट इज सपोज सी एच थ्री सी एच टू सी एच थ्री नाउ लुक टू दिस थ्री कंपाउंड दीज एलकाई chain they are known as electron pumping groups they are electron pumping or electron pushing groups they are electron pumping groups means they are continuously pushing electrons towards the nitrogen atom similarly here also this alkyl group they are pushing electrons from all the three ways and in this case the electrons are being pumped from two directions here ab dhyan se sunna A good base is a compound which can donate its lone pair electron easily. Then, what is happening in this case? In the primary one, in the primary case, what is happening is that your alkyl chain is pushing electrons towards the nitrogen atom. मतलब nitrogen के ऊपर तो lone pair का electrons present है ही. But this group is continuously pushing electrons towards nitrogen. मतलब electrons ज्यादा दे रहा है उसकी तरफ इट इज कंटिन्यूसली पुशिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन टूवर्ड्स द नाइट्रोजन एटम सो व्हाट हैपेंस दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन दे बिकम वेरी मींस रिलक्टेंट और वो चाहते हैं कि वी कैन लीव दिस नाइट्रोजन एटम इजीली सो व्हेन दिस पुश इज फ्रॉम वन डायरेक्शन दे आर ट्राइंग टू लीव इट इन दिस केस व्हाट इज हैपेनिंग दिस ऑल एल्काइल चेंज दे आर पुशिंग फ्रॉम ऑल द थ्री डायरेक्शन ऑल द थ्री डायरेक्शन तो ये नाइट्रोजन के जो इलेक्ट्रॉन से ये तो और आसानी से चाहेंगे कि दैट वी कैन गो फ्रॉम सिमिलरली इन दिस केस द पुश इज फ्रॉम टू डिरेक्शन तो टू डिरेक्शन से है नाउ इफ यू थिंक इन योर डेली लाइफ देन व्हाट हैपन दैट अ पर्सन इज बीइंग पुश्ड बाय वन दिस सपोज इफ यू कंसिडर दैट दिस इज वन ऑफ योर फ्रेंड एंड ही इज बींग पुश्ड बाई वन फ्रेंड हियर इट इज पुश्ड बाई थ्री वन एंड हियर इट इज पुश्ड बाई टू तो विच विल बी मोर इफेक्टिव द वन एयर थ्री फ्रेंड्स आर पुशिंग अ सिंगल वन दैट विल बी मोर इफेक्टिव तो उसका इलेक्ट्रॉन ज्यादा इजीली निकल के जा सकता है तो वो जो है एक अच्छा बेस कहलाता है दैट इज गुड बेस सो इफ यू हैव टू कंपेयर इन बिटवीन द बेसिसिटी ऑफ 
primary, secondary and tertiary amine, then your tertiary amine is a good base. This tertiary amine, it will be a good base. Why? Because here this electron groups, they can leave the nitrogen atom easily and that is why that is a good base. Similarly, it is followed by the secondary one, it is followed by the primary one. Now, this occurs in the gaseous phase only. This trend is followed in the gaseous phase. Now, what happens in the gaseous phase and what happens in the liquid phase? Let us see. Solid ki hum baat nahi karte hain because solid state mein amines zyada tar exist nahi karte. What did we learn there when we were studying about the physical property? There we learned that the lower amines, they are basically present in the gaseous state. With more higher means when the number of carbon was up to 10, they will exist in the liquid state and more than that, they start solidifying. So, when there are more carbon, we don't use that much. We don't use that much. So, we are only limited up to the 10 carbon. So, now we have to see that what happens in the liquid state and what happens in the gaseous state. Now, I say that this trend means the specific trend where 3 degree is more than 2 degree and this is more than 1 degree. This trend is followed only in the gaseous state. This is followed in the gaseous state. So, what will be the trend that we are going to see in the liquid state and why this changes, why it changes in the liquid state, now we are going to have a look at it, you see. In case of the stability of amines or means the amines, the basicity it depends on their structure. The basicity it depends on structure as well as it depends on the ease of the formation of cation. Matlab, wo kitni easily cation form kar sakta hai. The more stable the cation is, the more basic is the amine. Now, what is it? You see. Dekho. Jaise, suppose, this is ammonia. This is ammonia. It has a lone pair of electrons. So, this lone pair of electron can accept hydrogen also because base kya tha? Base is a compound which can accept hydrogen from Means this lone pair, it can accept hydrogen. So, if it is accepting hydrogen, what is being formed here? Dekho. N, H, H and H. Now, the valency of the nitrogen became more because the valency is 3. Here it has 4 bond. Bana liye. So, it has a positive charge. Aa gaya. Now, when this positive charge is there, this positively charged species that is known as your cation that is known as cation now this is in case of ammonia but what happens in case of amine so amine ke case mein dekho r aa jata hai ek aur baaki dono nh2 rehte hain iske upar bhi theek usi tarah se lone pair hai isne bhi maan lo us tarah se karke hydrogen accept kiya then it will become r n and this time it will become nh3 positive this is another cation this is for primary one this is for one degree Similarly, let me make it for 2 degree. So, 2 degree mein kya hoga dekho? In case of 2 degree, what will happen? R, N, then again R, then here H. Now, this is again accepting hydrogen. This nitrogen will again accept hydrogen. So, this mein kya banega? R, N, H, here again R. And this has again accepted one hydrogen here. So, maan lo, ek hydrogen mein yaha pe likh this. Now, this nitrogen is forming 4 bonds. Once again, is here for positive charge here. Here also one positive charge and here also one positive charge. Last one, let me make it the tertiary one. In case of tertiary, similarly, what will happen? That R, N, R, R, one hydrogen it will accept or is over the positive charge. Aadega. Now, you listen to it. You just keep this figure in your mind and now I am going to come to the screen. Dekho. What happens? you see what happens there. Now, in the first structure, if you have written it on your paper, you see, in the first structure where you had ammonium, ammonium means NH4 positive, in that case, the cation that was formed, cation formed means what? There is a deficiency of electron. Now, in the deficiency of electron, dekho, here in this case, in the first one, here in this case, what is happening here? is forming a cation. Cation means there is a deficiency of electron. Matlab, this nitrogen ke paas electron ki kami hai. So, this hydrogen, they cannot donate electron to this nitrogen because hydrogen, they only have single, single electron in them. 
but for primary compounds what happens what i said in the previous slide was that in the previous slide i told you that this alkyl chain these alkyl chains they are electron pumping group they used to pump electrons so here in case of primary amines what is happening ki jab ye cation form ho gaya to ek taraf se unko electron mil raha hai to kuch had tak unka jo deficiency hai to some extent the deficiency is being covered up by one alkyl chain from one side similarly in case of secondary amine kya ho raha hai this deficiency is trying to be filled up by two alkyl chain and in case of tertiary this is trying to be filled up by three alkyl chain teen wale bhar rahe to in which case the stability will be maximum the stability will be maximum where the donation of electron is occurring from all the three sides so that will be more stable so here your tertiary amine the three degree amine they are more stable cation three degree amine are forming the more stable cation more stable cation they have formed the more stable cation so the more stable the cation is the stronger the base is so that is the reason why here in 3 degree amine in the gaseous space only in the gaseous space gaseous space mein 3 degree amines are the best base followed by 2 degree followed by 1 degree now how the case changes in case of liquid state what happens in case of liquid state let us see that liquid state mein kya hota hai dekho in case of liquid state two things come into the picture do cheeze aa jati hai now what did we observe in the gaseous state was that the basicity means the strength of basicity was dependent only on the electron donation it was dependent only on the electron donation but in case of liquid state what happens it depends on electron donation with electron pumping group this is the electron pumping and at the same time the solvation ab solvation ko zyada high five ho gaya you use the word here hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding you can use it here solvation effect Now in this case, how they are affected by these two values? देखते हैं एक-एक करके देखो. In case of liquid state, your amine will remain same. देखो, R suppose this time I am taking CH3, here H and here H, and they accepted one hydrogen H positive, and they have formed a cation CH3 N H H or इसने ऊपर से एच एक लिया एंड इट बिकेम पॉजिटिव है सिमिलरली फॉर सेकेंडरी व्हाट यू विल हैव इज सी एच थ्री एन सी एच थ्री देन एच देन अगेन दिस हैज एक्सेप्टेड एच एंड दिस हैज बिकेम अ पॉजिटिव हियर कैट आई एंड फॉर टर्शरी व्हाट यू विल हैव इज नाइट्रोजन सी एच थ्री हियर देन अनादर सी एच थ्री हियर एंड देन अनादर सी एच थ्री हियर एंड hydrogen it is accepted it became a positive here now in these three cases now we will be talking about the liquid state to dekho electron pumping ka jo case hai na electron pumping is similar to that one of gaseous state the electron pumping is maximum in this case electron pumping is maximum but if you see the solvation effect solvation matlab hydrogen bonding ko agar dekho then out of these three the best hydrogen bonding occurs in which case the best hydrogen bonding definitely occurs in the primary one primary mein zyada hoga kyunki iske paas teen hydrogens hain teen hydrogens hain iske paas means these hydrogen they will also form bond with that oxygen molecule of water aur ye nitrogen bhi form kar lega hydrogen of water ke sath is tarah se karke they will form bond best will be the hydrogen bonding will be best observed in case of your primary amine then followed by secondary then followed by tertiary to ab do cheezon ko dekho summarize karte hain hum how we are summarizing you see the electron pumping was best in 3 degree that was followed by 2 degree that was followed by 1 degree and this is your electron pumping and the solvation solvation means your hydrogen bonding that was best in primary followed by secondary and followed by tertiary ab in ka sar kya nikalta hai what is the summary of this you see what i said in the first case was that the 
means the two things come into the picture one is electron pumping another one is solvation in case of gaseous state only the electron pumping group plays a role in determining that whether a base will be a good base or not but in case of liquid state two things determine this one is the electron donation and the second one is the solvation effect matlab dono cheez equally we have to see that which is occurring more in which case so if we are talking about electron pumping to dekho main fir se bana raha hu structure nh h and ch3 here then n then i'm not going to write this right this is n and here it is all ch3 here all of them are ch3 so ab what i said is that here the best hydrogen bond is occurring in this case hydrogen bonding in this case but the best electron donation role is played by this tertiary one so एक ऐसा केस है जिसमें इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनेशन भी मैक्सिमम है और हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग भी मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल है देखो यहां पर इन द सेकंड डिग्री केस इन द सेकंड डिग्री केस यू सी टू ऑफ देम आर डोनेटिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड ट्वाइस मींस टू टाइप्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग इज पॉसिबल यहां पर एक इसकी तरफ से हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग पॉसिबल हो रहा है और साथ ही ये वाला नाइट्रोजन भी हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग कर सकता है इन द प्राइमरी केस ओनली वन इज डोनेटिंग ओनली वन ऑफ देम इज डोनेटिंग and these two are the one which are responsible for hydrogen bonding in case of tertiary only the electron pumping role is maximum but hydrogen bonding is minimum but in case of secondary what we are seeing ye in tino ka mean hai means it is if we are considering the mean then we can see that the effect of electron pumping as well as the effect of solvation that can be observed maximum in this case matlab इलेक्ट्रॉन पंपिंग भी मैक्सिमम हो रहा है इस केस में एंड द हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग इज आल्सो ऑकरिंग मैक्सिमम इन दिस केस सो हियर इन केस ऑफ गैसियस स्टेट योर दिस वन द बेसिसिटी इट फॉलोज द ट्रेंड टू डिग्री इज टू थ्री डिग्री इज टू वन डिग्री दिस इज योर बेसिसिटी ट्रेंड इन केस ऑफ योर गैसियस स्टेट सो नाउ इफ यू सी सम क्वेश्चन इन योर बुक chemical properties in chemical properties we will be talking about the different reactions which are shown by amines so amines the main reaction was due to the presence of their lone pair of electron these electrons they are primarily primarily responsible for the reaction these electrons they act as they are electrons so they act as nucleophile so dekhte hain chalo first reaction let us see of a primary amine with alkyl sorry uh, this one hello uh, acid you see what happens here now in these two cases what will happen is that this h2 they will combine with this hydrogen and they will form a quaternary salt quaternary salt means all of them will combine together r and h3x this nitrogen will get a positive charge this x will get a negative charge now you see whatever my reactants were present all of them are there in the product phase so this product is known as a ad this is known as adduct means when all the reactants they combine together and they form a single product then that is known as a adduct and this reaction is only possible due to the basicity of your amine due to the basicity of amine this is the reaction which is possible due to the basicity of amine now similarly if in place of r you have a benzene ring in place of r if you have a benzene ring and this is nh2 then the reaction will be similar suppose in place of x i have taken hcl then here the reaction will be this is your benzene ring this is your r this will be nh3 and cl now this is forming four bonds so here it will be positive and here it will be negative charge they are just stabilizing each other now another reaction let's see in another reaction that is known, known as your acylation reaction r nh2 plus and uh, we are going to react a suppose anything suppose c2h5 suppose and c double bond o and cl now in these two cases here we have to find out that which is my electrophile and which is my nucleophile here so what will be the product here is that since this has the lone pair of electron the reactive site is present here means this has extra electron now it will search for a positive site so positive site in this compound is this carbon why this carbon 
because this is connected with two electronegative atoms one is your oxygen another one is your chlorine so this will be a partial positive charge so this two electrons they will come and they will attack this carbonyl group now when they will attack this carbonyl group this one of the bond of oxygen will move above so here it will happen r n this hydrogen this hydrogen these two hydrogens of nitrogen now this electron is forming bond with this carbonyl group so this carbon this oxygen now why i have written single bond because one of the bond has moved above so one negative charge will come here and this carbon it has a c2h5 and this carbon it had a chlorine now you see this nitrogen it is forming four bond so this will have a positive charge here now this type of positive and negative charge they cannot remain stable in the next step what will happen this will come this charge will come back to its original position then this carbon once it will form five bonds this chlorine will leave automatically now this chlorine will not leave alone since this nitrogen was not satisfied it was forming four bonds so this hydrogen will also leave so the final product will be r n here you will have your h this carbon it will have a double bond then you will have c2h5 so this is your final product this reaction is known as your acylation reaction in case of acylation reaction this type of compound is formed where the hcl means acid molecule will always leave the amine as well as the acyl group now next one is your carbyl amine reaction in case of carbyl amine reaction what happens a primary amine r nh2 this one reacts with chloroform chloroform is ch cl3 plus koh means potassium hydroxide and when these compounds are heated together we will get isocyanide now what is isocyanide isocyanide means in cyanide what happens if, uh, suppose if you remember the cyanide reaction here suppose that was a reaction where suppose ch3 cl and that one when it was reacted with acn you got it ch3 cn plus kcl now here you see the bond was formed in between carbon and carbon if the bond is formed in between carbon and carbon then that is known as cyanide that is known as cyanide but here what will happen the bond is formed in between nitrogen and carbon this type of bond is formed here aur uske sath ek carbon aake lagta hai so this is known as your isocyanide isocyanide so how to form a isocyanide when amine will react with chloroform in the presence of potassium hydroxide and when it will be heated then in that case you will get your isocyanide and for cyanide we have to react a halo alkene with potassium cyanide then we will get here is that is cyanide this is your cyanide and this is your isocyanide in case of isocyanide you have nc and in case of cyanide you have cf another reaction of amine r nh2 in all the places of this r it can be either your benzene benzene ring either it can be a phenyl ring or it can have a long chain anything it can be there what we concentrate is only on the functional group whatever the functional group we have we only consider that one that how they will react with different compounds now when this reacts with nitrous acid nitrous acid means hno2 nitric acid is hno3 this is the difference between nitric and nitrous when this one reacts with nitrous acid in the presence of sodium nitrite nano2 in the presence of sodium nitrite and hcl means hydrochloric acid we will get the corresponding alcohol corresponding alcohol means how many carbons were present in your amine that many number of carbons will be present in your alcohol just in place of this nh2 you will get oh here that is your alcohol and along with that you will get n2 and plus some by product will be there so we don't consider the by product i have already told you here in case of uh, means uh, amine in case of amine we do not consider this one now here this uh, the, um, there are different types of reaction which are used to differentiate between primary secondary and tertiary amine now how we are going to differentiate between the primary secondary and tertiary amine now the difference of this primary secondary and tertiary amines are you see 
the first difference that we use is the reaction with aryl sulfonyl chloride that is aryl sulfonyl aryl sulfonyl chloride now this aryl sulfonyl chloride that is known as hinsberg reagent this is known as hinsberg reagent now what is this aryl sulfonyl chloride so aryl sulfonyl chloride is one benzene ring benzene ring this is bonded to sulfur molecule with double bonded oxygen and chlorine this one this is known as your hinsberg reagent now how this compound will be used to differentiate between primary secondary and tertiary we are going to see this now those amines which have replaceable hydrogen now replaceable hydrogen ka matlab kya hai dekho primary amine they have two hydrogen two hydrogen secondary amine they have one hydrogen and tertiary amine they do not have any hydrogen tertiary amine they do not have any hydrogen so this hinsberg test this is only given by primary and secondary this reaction is not given by tertiary amine so now means if three mixtures are given suppose a b and c are given and if is asked that which of them is primary which of them is secondary and which of them is tertiary so we can differentiate it out now how we are going to differentiate you see one by one what you will do is that you will react this hinsberg reagent with all this compound matlab pehle primary wale ke sath react karoge to jab primary wale ke sath react karoge na to kya hota hai ek hydrogen aur ye ek chlorine this two will leave out then what will happen dekho r n now from this n one hydrogen has gone one hydrogen is left and this side this chlorine has went out so what will happen yahan par ye r nh2 ke sath yahan par ye baki ka jo hissa hai that is your s double bond o here you have double bond o and your benzene ring that will be attached in this way so here this will happen when the primary amines react now similarly when the secondary amines will react with this compound what you will get is that ye ek hydrogen aur ye ek chlorine wapas se chala jayega then what you will get is r n r then again that one s double bond o here also double bond o and here you will get your phenyl ring phenyl ring means the benzene ring is there banai deta hu this benzene ring you will get it here so this is your secondary amine reaction and this is your primary amine reaction but tertiary amine since they do not have any replaceable hydrogen isme hydrogen nahi hai to hcl molecule leave nahi ho sakta so that is why they do not react with one another means in case of hinsberg test the reaction is not given by your tertiary amine so now you have to differentiate in between this primary and secondary तो अब प्राइमरी और सेकेंडरी में कैसे फर्क पता करेंगे नाउ हाउ दिस प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी आर डिफरेंशिएटेड दे आर डिफरेंशिएटेड यूजिंग दिस कार्बाइल एमाइन रिएक्शन नाउ हाउ कार्बाइल एमाइन रिएक्शन कार्बाइल एमाइन रिएक्शन इज ओनली गिवन बाय प्राइमरी मतलब जो ये आइसोसाइनाइट फॉर्म होने वाला रिएक्शन था ना दिस रिएक्शन इज ओनली गिवन बाय प्राइमरी एमाइन सो एक बार यहां पर रिएक्ट करके ये दोनों कंपाउंड जो आ गए these two compounds will have different color their color will be different so from the color you can identify ye wala shayad colorless hoga aur ye wala shayad light yellow color ka hota hai i am not sure with this color so from the color you can identify that which one of them is from ek primary hoga aur dusra secondary hoga ab agar maan lo ki dono ka case like colorless aur ye light yellow maine bola but in some cases you will happen that you have to confirm that whether it is purely primary or not then in that case what you will do jis pe tumhe doubt hai ki wo primary ho sakta hai us primary wale ko aap react karaoge usi ke sath means suppose this is your compound this one you have to react this one with your chloro form means chcl3 plus your koh and you have to heat it then there you will get your corresponding isocyanide compound then from there you can confirm ki ha chalo ye wala compound ye hai aur ye wala compound ye hai this type of reaction start occurring here 
तो दीज वेर योर रिएक्शन ऑफ योर एलिफेटिक एमाइंस नाउ एलिफेटिक एमाइंस का मतलब क्या है इसमें लॉन्ग चेन थे अभी तक देखो ये एमाइंस में हमने लॉन्ग चेन वाले एमाइंस के बारे में बात करें वेर दे हैव लॉन्ग चेन कमाउंड नाउ वी विल बी कमिंग टू द एरोमेटिक एमाइंस एरोमेटिक एमाइंस का मतलब है अ बेंजीन रिंग एंड इन अ बेंजीन रिंग आई हैव एन अमाइंड ग्रुप अटैच दिस वन सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट नाउ यू हैव टू आंसर मी दैट वेदर दिस विल हैव बेसिसिटी हुज बेसिसिटी विल बी मोर इसका बेसिसिटी ज्यादा होगा मीन्स द बेसिसिटी ऑफ दिस वन विल बी मोर और द बेसिसिटी ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड विल बी मोर आउट ऑफ दिस टू हुज बेसिसिटी विल बी मोर दिस कंपाउंड इज नोन एज एनिलीन दिस इज नोन एज एनिलीन और बेनजीन एमाइन एंड दिस इज नोन एज मिथान अमाइन दिस इज योर मिथान अमाइन so now my question is that out of these two which will have ha dekho look here a good base is one which can give its electron easily to others now what we know is that these alkyl groups they are electron pumping group but this benzene group ye to electron withdraw karte hain matlab they will pull electrons towards them तो जब वो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स को पुल करेंगे अपनी तरफ तो ये नाइट्रोजन तो अपना इलेक्ट्रॉन बेचारा दे ही नहीं पाएगा सो दिस इज वीक बेसिक ये वीक है एंड दिस इज अट्रॉन्ग बेसिक दिस इज अट्रॉन्ग वन तो अब यहां से एक चीज कंफर्म कर लो कि अगर किसी बेंजीन रिंग के ऊपर इफ एनी बेंजीन रिंग अब मान लो ये एक अमीन है और साथ ही ये एक अमीन है NO2, these two amines you have. Then out of these two, which amine will be stronger? So, देखो NO2 टू जो है ये भी इलेक्ट्रॉन पुलिंग ग्रुप है दिस ऑल्सो पुल्स इलेक्ट्रॉन टूवर्ड्स इट सेल्फ तो ये वाला और ज्यादा वीक हो जाएगा इसमें तो बेचारा एक ही खींच रहा है इससे इलेक्ट्रॉन लेकिन यहाँ क्या है बेनजीन भी खींच रहा है एनओ टू भी खींच रहा है बोथ ऑफ देम आर पुलिंग सो दिस विल बी मोर वीकर देन दिस वन एंड वेन एवर यू आर कंपेयरिंग द बेसिसिटी ऑफ अराइल एंड एल्काइल अराइल का मतलब बेनजीन वाला द बेनजीन वन एंड एल्काइल मीन्स द लॉन्ग चेन वन एल्काइल विल बी ऑलवेज हाईली बेसिक देन द अराइल वन द रीजन इज दैट द बेनजीन रिंग दे पुल इलेक्ट्रॉन बट द एल्काइल चेन दे डोनेट इलेक्ट्रॉन तो जब इलेक्ट्रॉन उसी की तरफ जैसे मान लो ये मेरा अमाइन है दिस इज माई अमाइन एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉन दे आर कंटिन्यूसली बींग पुस्ट दिस साइड तो जब ज्यादा ज्यादा आते रहेगा तो क्या बोलेगा चलो मैं चला जाता हूँ देन इट कैन लीव इजिली बट हेयर वाट इज है वो तो खींच रहा है उल्टा खींच रहा है वो जाने नहीं दे रहा है सो दैट इज द रीजन वाई हेयर योर बेसिसिटी इट बिकम लेस इन केस ऑफ बेनजीन एंड दिस पुल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन टूवर्ड्स द बेनजीन रिंग इट इज द ड्राइविंग फैक्टर ऑफ मेनी रिएक्शन ऑफ दिस बेनजीन एमाइन एंड हाउ दे रिएक्ट ये रिएक्शन तो यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन मी नाउ दैट वाई दिस प्रोडक्ट आर बी फॉर्म सपोज यू हैव हेयर एन एच टू then now i am doing the nitration i am doing the nitration here so in case of nitration if you remember ye nitrogen apna electron is tarah se karke yahan pe dega to agar resonance yaad ho then what did we get we used to get the negative charge at the ortho position and at the para position so yahan par do product honge two product this nh2 to wahi par rahega ek NO2 टू यहां पर आएगा प्लस एक NO2 टू यहां पर आएगा दीज आर योर टू केसेस बट इन केस ऑफ अमाइन जैसे मान लो अगर एल्कोहल ले लेते हैं सपोज लेमी टेक अ फेनॉल लेमी टेक अ फेनॉल इन केस ऑफ फेनॉल इफ आई एम डूइंग द सेम रिएक्शन ऑफ नाइट्रिक एसिड इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड देन वॉट आई विल सी दैट माई बेनजीन रिंग दिस ओ एच इज देयर एक एन ओ टू यहां पर आएगा और एक एन ओ टू ओ एच वन एन ओ टू विल कम हियर दिस इज नोन एज ऑर्थो प्रोडक्ट दिस इज नोन एज योर पेरा प्रोडक्ट नाउ इन दिस केस इन केस ऑफ फेनॉल आपको केवल यही दोनों प्रोडक्ट मिलेंगे ओनली दिस टू नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू हियर फ्रॉम सम वन आउट ऑफ दिस टू विच वन विल बी द मेजर वन ऑर्थो वन और पैरा वन ऑर्थो और पैरा एनी वन
Yes, dear Lori, para. Why para? Can you please explain? Can you please tell why para? What was the reason? Hirjirka, Lalian, Rumpi, so many are there. Why? Uh, dear Lori, but I am giving you the chance. Don't pass the opportunity to others. Bolo to. Why para? <coughs> Why para? Why para? Balongri is also there. Balongri, why para? Isalin, Priyanka, Rumpi, Sunita, so many are there. At least someone write the answer. Somebody write the answer. Why para is the major product? Why not the ortho one? You see that the ions which are more stable have some basic, but if it may have stable ions, if it may have stable ions, then how it has? Um, Akash at present uh, be at the base. If it wale baad mein batayenge. If it wale alag baat hai. But uh, now first uh, you answer this question. Why the para one is the uh, stable one? Which are more stable? Helps Just answer me this question. Tab tak main tumhara question samjhta hu. Ions which are more stable helps in basic, but acid may have stable ions. Yeah, that is also a factor. Usme bhi hai because this position. <laughs> Akash, that is not the answer. This position is not stable. Aisa jawab nahi hai. Dekho suno. <coughs> Here the reason is symmetry. The reason is symmetry. Reason is symmetry. Ye dekho. This is your phenol. OH and your NO2 is present at the para position. इसको बीच से काटो तो देखो एक symmetry दिखेगी दोनों में. But when it is in ortho position, there is no symmetry. That is why the ortho one is not your major product. But the para one, that is your major product. Now come to this case. Now here, since the electron is being means pulled by the benzene ring, here also you will get these three positions as your negative charges. But in case of amine. Apart from these two products, you have one more product, and that product is your meta product, NH2, and you will get one NO2 here also. मतलब amine के केस में तीन products होते हैं ortho, para, meta. All the three positions are occupied by NO2. Now, what is the reason that I leave to you? You have to send it to me tomorrow during the class hours. Since tomorrow I don't have a class with you, so कल पूरे दिन में आप जब भी मुझे भेज सकते हो, you send it to me. What was the question, sir? The question is that in normally when the groups are ortho and para directing, listen it carefully. Normally when the substituents are ortho and para directing, we have only two products, only two products. But why in case of amines we get three products? Why we have three products means ortho bhi aata hai, para bhi aata hai, or meta bhi aata hai. Tino aata hai. All the three are there. Now I want this answer tomorrow from them. Those.